How do you take care of a skin at your 30s? Firstly, probably you will try to undo what's happened in your teen or your 20s, which means to say, if you've been one of those sports person in your school or you've, if you've gone rock climbing and river rafting, you want to undo all the sun damage that's happened. So instead of using a good exfoliating agent, you start using the right face wash, which doesn't rip you off of more moisture because your skin would have started to start going dry at around this age. And then in your teens, if you have had acne, maybe there are remnants of acne, which you now need to go and meet a doctor if it's still remaining, because maybe then there is a hormonal component to why you're getting acne. So that's the right time to go meet your doctor for that. Or if you have had acne and that's gone, then you have your acne scars that needs to be dealt with. So at your thirties, you first, first kind of do your cleanup act. So get, get rid of your acne, try and do sort your acne scars out. Um, ease off the sun damage that's happened, ease off all the uh, binging that you've done in terms of uh, you know, fast foods and maybe smoking, drinking, all of that because at 30 you've become wise. So you do all of that. And this is when your skin kind of starts to change in terms of its feel. It might start getting a little dry, it might start getting a little patchy under the eye, it might start looking tired because there's a little hollow created under the eye. Maybe there's a little pigmentation around the mouth. So there's initial changes that happen due to aging, which is dryness and change in the pigment and the skin getting patchy would have already started at the beginning of your 30s. Towards the late 30s, it might get added on with a few lines here and there. Maybe deepening of lines like your you know, laugh lines, corner of your mouth a few lines, deepening of your expression lines, like probably a frown might have just about appeared or the crow's feet might have just about appeared. These are the little changes that you see, you know, by the time you're N30. And your neck might start showing some signs of aging, which is a few lines, horizontal. Neck feels dry, darker. So this is the time you start using a great face wash, which kind of hydrates you. You need to add exfoliation into your daily skincare regime. You add, you add a moisturizer or a serum in the daytime, which has antioxidants or vitamins that kind of protect you from the sun during the day and also negate the free radical damage that's been happening and accumulating accumulating in all these years definitely definitely sunscreen on top of it all and then at the night whatever you did in your 20s and 30s will continue but in addition you need to intensify your anti-aging creams get a little bit of skin lighting ingredients into it get a little bit of AHAs, BHAs some retinol complexes into it um, you could also get uh, Reservatrol, you could get all of these new age anti-aging ingredients into it at night. This is the time, it's, it's time for you to go to your doctor and figure out how you will take care of what has happened earlier in terms of as we discussed acne scars. There are such wonderful treatments now whether you have pits so that the texture has gone wrong or you have dark marks from the acne but the color has gone wrong. You either have collagen stimulating equipments like microneedling, all of that that take care of it. There are various peels, various lasers which will take care of all those acne scars which are remaining. The one good thing that happens when you take care of acne scars at the age of like late 30s or 30s is it along with it acts as a anti-aging. Because anything which is taking care of acne scar is doing it by stimulating your collagen. That's how the tissue fills up and your pits and pores and all of that disappear, right? Or reduce. What that does is anyway stimulating collagen and what do we need while we are aging? More collagen, better collagen, newer collagen, newer blood vessels to the skin, everything getting refreshed and rejuvenated. That's exactly what happens. So it acts as a dual benefit to you. Takes care of those scars, takes care of those pores, along with taking care of your aging process. So that's what you can do. And then you can start off with a lot of like peels. As I said, even at home, your exfoliation has to get better at your doctor's office also you should take care of it so you could do some peels uh, depending on what your skin type is and what your condition is and then you can end up adding some fantastic facials what flies off in my clinic is a combination that we do with certain typical peels that suits a particular person we look at the acids ourselves and mix and match it and then we use certain ingredients and there are various facials depending on what your skin is like oxygen facial there is hydrating facial, there is there is pampering, this ritual, vitamin C facial, million combinations which people just thoroughly enjoy. And then we top it up at the end with a laser, 
either for a skin tightening or a, or a skin clearing or a pigmentation to be lightened. So that 360 degree approach gives us a fantastic beautification of the face. Mm, so that's something that you can do. You can explore into fillers and Botox. So probably your fillers could be just about under the eye because that shadowing is beginning to show. The corner of the mouth shadowing is beginning to show. So if you support what is kind of getting lost at the very beginning, you're almost preventing the worsening of it. So it's almost preventative at this stage when you start it. And then a little bit of a Botox on the down pulling brow, the down pulling mouth. That again acts more as a preventative. One thing that I don't like and I knocked off in my late 30s was the frown. See, even if I'm angry, I cannot frown. I've knocked it off. But my brows move really beautifully while all my expressions are intact because the trick is in doing it right. So that's something that you really, really start. Start off your supplements as well. That's really important along with moderating your diet, putting an exercise into your regime. Start off with a good set of supplements after you discuss with your doctor. So take care of your 30s and then you can ease into 40s yet looking most beautiful.